All right, let's just continue. Cruise escort. Jeez, am I really doing everything? I might as well. But I only have one flag. What's up with that? It doesn't tell you what to do, right? Oh, it does. Okay. Protect the passengers on board the ship from hordes of attacking monsters. That sounds really boring. Search for the immortal dragon in the lake underneath the forest. Maybe I'll just do this one. Find and rescue the child lost deep in the depths of the cave. Oh. Is this a story one? It sounds like it. This one doesn't sound like filler. Let's do this one then. Undying Dragon. It sounds interesting. Somewhat. New area. Oh jeez, this guy. He looks crazy. Now this is a spot of trouble. Are you talking about me again? Oh, how fortuitous. You there. Could you do something about these primal beasts? Are you racist? Choose your next words wisely. He seems rather calm, though. Wow! Oh my god, the dialogue window. So if I try to press up... Jeez. Oh my god, they spawn on... Okay, I'm, I'm tilted. What if he's controlling them? Spawn on me again? Yeah? There must be more. This can't be it. It's 20 minutes. 24 minutes left. Splendid. You saved me. You have my gratitude. I suppose this isn't a good place to chat. There's a small hut near here where I'm currently staying. Let's head there for a moment. Please, come with me. Oh, it's an escort mission! Ah, oh, disgusting. Hmm, Primal Beast again. As uh, okay, I'm not gonna read that. Wait, how how are we stuck? Just walk left, you moron. Hello? Do you know how to walk? I mean, I guess it is kind of a fall. Oh my god, it's, it's an escort mission with a moron NPC. That's great. And he's spamming. He's spamming voice lines. Well, luckily it's not voiced, but he's spamming. Are you serious? What do you want me to do? Is this actually a puzzle? Because I don't know what I'm doing right now. Something zaggered onto me. Oh, maybe this is guiding me up. That's bad. It keeps spamming. I get it. What is this? Some kind of weight? No, carrying powder. It's gonna do it again right now. There must be something. Like this? No. Well, that was a good combo. Got both of them. This guy... Is there something I'm missing? He keeps spamming. It, it has to be a lot simpler than... Oh, I think I get it. It's really simple, actually. He has to just walk... Oh, I see, okay. Oh, God. Oh, are you kidding me? That's what I have to do? That's it? I was looking for some kind of weight mechanic to move him around or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I am overthinking it. I always do. 
This NPC is still horrible. They're stuck again? Come on! Stop being stuck. Oh, you know the one thing that's kind of strange? Some of the characters look kind of too big or too small. Disproportionate. It's like the- I think it's the girl in town. She looks massive compared to me. Maybe she just is massive, I don't know. Could be the case. But like, the size of some of the characters' heads... Like, I'm assuming my head is not that big, but this guy's a huge head. I took a bullet for you. After death. Oh, that poisoned me. Okay, I'm actually just gonna anti venom this. Wow, he took damage! Is he gonna die? What if he dies? Crap, I think he's gonna die. Does he have health regen? You idiot! Oh crap, I ate that! Oh my god! I'm an idiot. Something's aggro on him? Level 90? Why is that level 90? That's not level 90. That's level 9. Holy... It looked like level 90, seriously. Okay, okay, we, we reached this hut at least. Let's hope that he's a, a useful NPC. I have my doubts though. Top notch work. Welcome to my hut. I live in the middle of a forest with monsters everywhere. And I have no idea what to do because I'm an idiot. I work here as a researcher with no protection. I'm currently studying a pair of dragons living in a cave nearby with no protection. Those dragons have a peculiar habit of returning to life after having been killed. It just so happens my research is on the topic of immortality. Oh, maybe this guy's an immortal. His name is Eterno. Not so subtle name. Doing a not so subtle job here in the middle of a dangerous forest. I see, I see. I heard a new investigator was on their way, so I guess that must be you. Absolutely smashing. Let's give it our all. You can do all the leg work, and I'll do all the brain work. Me dumb. How's that sound? Ah. Don't look so dour. Actually, the research is just about finished. All I need is two dragon samples. And as you can tell, I'd have a pretty tough time doing that on my own. Even though I've been here for a while. Which makes no sense, narratively. Your job will be to obtain samples from the bodies of the two dragons and bring them here. Just to reiterate, there are two dragons in the cave. Make sure you get one from each. Alright then. All right then. That rock though. Not sure how to break it. These are aggroed onto me, but what do they even do other than spray spores? Oh, they regrow? Okay, that's kind of annoying. Just leave them then. Crap, almost dead. These ones I should just do a jump cancel for it. I want to heal just in case. I don't want to die. There we go. Oh, I, I dodged it by accident. Damn it! Mimic? Oh, 
always mimic. Mm. Oh, what the? Holy, there's so many enemies. That thing's pretty strong. Level 11? Go left. Oh crap, Tom Kench. Damn. Holy, I'm so scared right now. I have two potions left and there are two dragons. Is it in here? That's a dragon? doing oh that killed me okay well I can't climb the walls also that's the annoying part I hate bosses like these Poison damage is so good. Dodge phase again, I guess. The boss is kind of interesting, I have to admit. But I'm not sure how to dodge it properly. Maybe I just have to stand here? That could be it. Oh, drop the Dirk Sphere. This full heals me, right? I'm a bigger dragon. Ow, that knockback though. Can't see where I'm going. Spam. Okay, I'm gonna heal so I don't die in this mode. I need to just spam. I have infinite mana right now. Of course, you can't see the duration because that's too logical. Yeah, I just gotta spam. Crap. Oh my god! Oh! You can you can survive with one HP in this mode. Okay, this boss is actually insanely strong. Please die to poison. I'm so screwed for the second boss then. Assuming it's the same thing. Sample A, but it comes back to life, right? What if I stay here? I hear something. In the background? Hello? Dragon? Durgan? Okay, let's move on then. I need to be very careful. My mana's full right now, so I might as well just spam like crazy. Oh my god, that actually traveled full distance. Wow. Alright then. I see. I see. Crap. 
That's a heal. Mimic? My healing powder is useless. This doesn't affect me at the moment. Okay. Oh my god! Oh jeez! I'm gonna avoid that. All stats up. That's not bad. Except I'm playing super defensively at the moment because I don't want to heal anymore. I have what? One more healing item? Yeah. This guy needs to heal me. I hope he does. I'm helping him with his research, right? Might as well heal me. Heal? Dun dun dun. Divine King? What do you do? Oh, I'm almost out of time. It's not good. I still have one dragon to kill. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail this one. If I don't play really carefully, I'm gonna fail. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's that's that makes sense. What's over here? Please be a heal. The door key. Oh god, the dragon's here already? Let's hope this fight is e Oh no, it's a boss rush. They're gonna spawn on me. Or uh, enemy rush. Right? They're gonna spawn on me. I'm pretty sure it's gonna spawn on me. If I stand in the middle, anyway. The hell? Oh, it's a heal! Yeah, look at that. If I attacked from the right side, I would have gotten hit. Was that. Double attack? Two attack frames? Damage frames? I guess not. This hitbox is in my favor. Someone's gonna spawn on me from below. Right next to me. Oh crap! Jump too high. Oh. Mimic? Door key. Oh, that's the door key. Okay. Let's check it out. I don't think it's gonna be a heal, but it's something. Is it? Oh, it's a shortcut. Crap. Holy crap. I'm getting pushed away. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Something's gonna spawn on me. Invisible enemy. Dragon? Oh jeez, I'm so dead. I'm actually dead. I think I'm just gonna die here. It's the same same enemy. 18 damage. Oh what the hell? How do I avoid that? What the hell? How am I supposed to avoid that? That was a waste. 
Yeah, I'm so screwed. I'm I'm actually gonna fail this, I think. I'm gonna die again. I'm just gonna take the minimum rewards. And then heal if I really have to at the very end. So he's gonna tackle. He's gonna try and suck me in. He's gonna do a bad attack that I can't avoid. So I'm assuming I need meter for that one, otherwise I can't avoid it. I need to do an air dash over, probably. Double jump air dash? That's... That's the most likely scenario. From what I can tell. Let's try that. Oh, I stunned it. Yeah, that's how you do it. How long does Dirk's here last for? I don't know if it's gonna vanish. I don't want it to vanish, obviously. Just grab it now. I probably could have um, not taken another 500 point penalty. Yeah. Could have just healed. Rip. I can end the, the quest? Okay. Oh, that kind of sucked, though. It's a brutal one. Demon's Pendant. Steel Bangle plus one. Oh, nice defense. I'm still not sure what to do for this one. It, it's not obvious to me which one's better. Let's go uh, 20 agility, I guess. I don't know. So, my hypothesis was true. I've concluded that these creatures are not immortal after all. Though these two dragons appear to be different bodies, they are actually one and the same. In other words, these two are merely separate parts of a single larger being. Oh, the thing in the background. If one is killed, with enough time it can regenerate, given the other still lives. It is not a matter of an immortal creature returning to life. Not live. Maybe live. No, probably life. It is simply a wound healing. Immortality is nothing but a fanciful dream. Does that seem strange for me to say? Considering my name is Eterno? Oh ho ho. I don't research to prove the existence of immortality. If anything, it is the opposite. I work to deny the existence, well correctly, of such a fiction. Life has no equivalent substitute. Life has an immeasurable value, and yet it is incredibly fleeting. As so, we all have a duty to live our lives to their fullest. That is what I truly believe. Well, this guy's not racist. That's good. Very logical person. 